Hey, it's Jang here from UltimateRC.com with my review of the Traxxas E Revo Brushless Edition. This is a low slung, high speed monster truck. It's four wheel drive with a single speed center transmission and most importantly on this version, it has the Castle Mamba Monster Combo. This is a true 1 8 scale system with an oversized ESC and an even bigger 40 by 74 millimeter 8th scale motor. The other thing that stands out on this vehicle, the use of lay down shocks. These sit inboard and are almost completely horizontal, activated by some cantilevers on either side that are connected to push rods that ultimately connect to the suspension arms. It's a deceptively heavy and high center of gravity setup, but it really protects the shocks from damage in crashes. These shocks have aluminum bodies and they're threaded on the outside to allow easy changes to your ride height. The A-arms have three push rod mounting options to allow you to quickly fine tune the stiffness of your suspension. The knuckles at all four corners of the truck use pillow balls which allows you to easily change your camber. Toe in and caster angle can also be adjusted out of the box. Now in a break from the norm for Traxxas, the speed controller is not waterproof. Not even a little bit. However, the vehicle does use waterproof steering servos, and yes I did just say steering servos. There are two of them. They connect together mechanically underneath. There's also a waterproof receiver case, though with one single very critical component not being waterproof, there's really no point for all of this. It's just carryover from the waterproof brushed edition. Now the chassis is a single intricately molded fiber reinforced plastic piece and it has battery compartments that are mostly enclosed on either side. Now they do include batteries in those trays right out of the box. These are 7 cell 8.4 volt 3000 milliamp hour nickel metal hydride packs. They're not great, especially for brushless use, but they will get you started. Now I got my E-Revo right at the end of the Traxxas Link era. They've since upgraded to a thing called a TQI. It's just a slightly different design of transmitter. They both take four AA batteries and they're both programmable through two little red buttons. These let you change things like endpoints and exponential. The bag of extra stuff included with this vehicle is pretty impressive. They've got a whole bottle of extra shock oil here. Here's an extra spur, some body clips, spacers, a maximum steering travel stop option. Improves your steering radius at the expense of U-joint wear. And check out this bag o tools. I don't think I've ever seen this many tools included with an RTR RC. A bunch of these are specialized for the Revo's components too. And finally, they give you this long travel rocker set comes with an extra set of springs also. Installing this will give your suspension better range of motion for more slow driving over really rough terrain. It can also be useful for landing a lot of huge jumps. Did I mention that this vehicle has the Mamba Monster system in it? Mm-hmm. Well, it does. However, this is not how it performs out of the box. This is actually with two 3S LiPo packs, or 6S in total. That's over 25 volts, also known as tire shredding power. Okay, so due to unforeseen circumstances, I will not be running on 6S power uh, for the rest of this video. I'll also be running on some backup wheels and tires until the original ones can be repaired. These are Proline Badlands on Desperado wheels. But, aside from a slight difference in traction profile, this is actually the performance of the brushless E-Revo out of the box, with the stock nickel metal hydride batteries. Definitely more tame and no tire shredding this time. On flat ground it tops out at 35 miles per hour with a full charge, and you can expect about that same top speed with two 2S LiPos. On 6S LiPo we radared it at 50, not bad for a monster truck. But then again, how much of a monster truck really is it? This thing is pretty low slung and kind of handles like a slightly sloppy stadium truck. Compared to the high riding solid axle monster trucks of yesteryear, this isn't even a cut above. This is in an entirely different universe. Considering that this is the out of the box suspension setup, it's very, very stable and yet still capable of going over some pretty rough terrain. The ride is actually a little bit too soft though, I'd say. It doesn't really lean over too much in turns, but it squats a lot in the back. As a result, the rear skid plate slaps the ground a lot. Thankfully, there are a handful of free tuning options on the truck that allow you to bring that rear ride height up. Also, don't forget about the optional long travel rocker set. 
Mentally, I'm giving Traxxas credit for having all those available options, but for this review, as usual, I'm going to focus on the out-of-the-box setup. So far, everything's looking pretty good. My next test session was out at the 1 8 scale off-road track at NorCal Hobbies in Union City, California. This here was again running the stock batteries, and on this occasion they were feeling kind of sluggish. They're decent right off the charger, but running in such a high-powered vehicle, the voltage drops on nickel metal hydride packs relatively quickly. After just a few laps, I was struggling to clear anything. After about 10 minutes, the packs were just dead. Those medium grade nickel metals are just fine for putting around on any kind of surface where you don't have maximum traction or if you're just kind of taking it easy, but when you really start putting the power down, you need more. So here's more. This is the same truck running the same gearing, only running on two 2S LiPos now, or 4S in total. By the way, those are the original tires again. It's amazing what super glue can do. It's also amazing just how much of a difference in performance it makes going from nickel metal to lipo. The resting voltage of the nickel metals is actually higher, but once you put a load through them, especially this much load, yeah, game over. If you're gonna get a brushless E-Revo, you must get lipos. This is the performance that I paid for. Still with no additional tuning out of the box and still driving while operating a full-sized camera, I was able to get into the groove with this thing and start to push it pretty hard, and it had no trouble clearing everything on this big track. But so what if it can fly? How well does it crash? So it finally did break, but let's go back and see exactly what happened there. See that? It's the protruding head of a very large nail that I drove into the ground using that piece of tractor ballast. And with the rear suspension fully compressed right here, the lower A-arm just hit that nail right below the head. I'm really not mad at that A-arm for splintering upon that impact. That was just ridiculous. However, very early on in my durability testing, the other arm halfway cracked. I was just never able to finish the job. So, if there are any weaknesses on this truck, it's A-arms and, if you're running on 6S, stock tires. Barring those two things, I really don't have much else to say. This is a solid truck. Durable, fast, good handling, and versatile. It performs as advertised. It may not be the right truck for everyone, but if you like what you see on the surface, the Traxxas E-Revo Brushless Edition will deliver right to the core. That's it from me for now, for this video, but I'm going to hold on to this truck for a while and do a little bit of tune-up on it. I'll install that long travel rocker set and experiment with some aftermarket parts also to see if I can bring in a little bit more monster truck spirit into this vehicle. Stay tuned for videos of that process. If you want to see more raw driving footage of the E-Revo Brushless Edition, browse or search on my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ultimate RC network and you'll find a bunch of videos separated out by running conditions. Thanks much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.